All right, call meeting to order, 515 August 2nd. Third members present, Russell Friends, Natalie Bickham, Gordon Fortier, and Clerk. Hello, readings here. Um, this first thing is to read the read the minutes or an, and approve or whatever we need to do. Um, just so I'm clear on procedure, um, because before the meeting I went to the website looking for the minutes. That's what I in the email I sent you with the attachment. I explained that what happens is exactly. 48 hours before a meeting or two business days, not even 48 hours, exactly two business days, the system locks and you can't get an agenda in there. Ah, uh, okay. And that's why last week we had a hand typed agenda as opposed to, and so, and therefore I can't put the minutes in there. And there was a holiday in the middle okay. of that. So it messed up my timing. But, but even today I couldn't find these? No, you won't until they're approved. Okay. That's why I emailed them to everyone as an attachment. Oh, so after that 48 ago, hour. When you hit two business days, the system yep. locks. And because of the holiday, I miscalculated. Mm -hmm. it's, it was still posted in time, mm -hmm. but I had miscalculated getting the agenda. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't do anything about it. That's why I emailed it to everybody a couple okay. weeks I'm ago. I'm not seeing the minutes ahead of time because they're not approved. You don't put them online unless they're. Exactly. Official. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, when it's on the website, it's a little different because it clearly states these are draft on approved minutes. It won't happen again. Maybe. <laughs> Try to understand the protocol. So. Well, this is not protocol. It was off protocol. System. <laughs> yeah, it was it was off protocol. <laughs> Um, should in these minutes we be noting now that we know that the site business of the 27th were uh, canceled due to yeah. rain? Was it rain? Yeah, we can note that. Well, I couldn't note them in those minutes because no. that happened after. Okay. I don't know, yeah. but we do in, know now. Yep. We yeah, but uh, they wouldn't go in those minutes. They would go Fine, on these. They would go on these. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. And then it turned out to be not as horrible as it wasn't predicted. horrible at all. It was quite nice out. I know. I felt so bad. And then they predicted 100 degrees in downpours. It was 85 degrees and a little breezy. We have rain, though. I think we were traumatized, but then wasn't that? I know, but we, yeah. No, oh, any discussion, correction, ventilation? Mm -hmm. Other than things I just brought up, which we can dealt with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody with a motion? Move, move to accept as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, you may. Part of it, yep. No, right. that's pretty much it for mail. You didn't, there wasn't. Yeah, all the mail is there. I yeah, think yeah. that, that uh, sales verification form is about it. There's two of them now. So we, oh. have, we have a couple of sales. Oh, good. Yeah, they're old. Or one, yeah, one of them's like a one year old. Is, one of them is... Uh, they got it in. Appreciate Borton. it. One of them is Borton's. Oh. And <laughs> one of them is Ruth Parnell's. Mm-hmm. Ruth Seller House? Yes. Yeah. Yep, to the Goldmans. Oh, Erica Goldman. Who live down the street. Who live two doors away. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they're not going to move there? They're probably no, just they're not going to move there. Their daughter's going to move there. Oh. Huh. I think they're going to probably let out the rest of it. You know, one, of, one, other, one of there's four apartments there. Are there? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, maybe, maybe one each kid will get an apartment. Yeah. Who knows? One is one has been rented, I know, and there was some talk that there was going to be uh, not bed and breakfast, but oh yeah, some kind of Airbnb. Airbnb. So 
Is this considered an arm length sale because they're no. neighbors? Sort it was of? not on the open market. I wasn't. No, oh, no. no. But it's good to get the information about the condition of the place and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that one. I saw a roof this morning. They had purchased a new house in Syracuse. Oh, good. For a buy sell agreement on it yesterday. Yeah, Don was saying they were going and he was hoping they would find something. Yeah. So when we saw the real estate transaction, we mailed them this form and if they so choose they mail it back mm -hmm. yep we just say how much we appreciate it and what it you know how it helps us there is <clears throat> no rule of regulation that requires no. it you know except i have requested to change the way that form is mailed only because i have found out from the post office that it get it chews up and fly their machines because we just fold it in thirds and put a piece of tape on it so it gets caught in the sorting machines. Organization has overcome us. So, so put it in an envelope. Uh, for yep. Now. That's what it's I'm done. thinking. I mean, the envelopes are six dollars for a box of five hundred. I don't think it's right gonna kill us to so we could keep the same form. We can keep the same form. We're just gonna make it eight and a half by eleven by removing the address sections. Yeah. Nothing's gonna change if you I'm just make sure that they see the entire you will because you're just removing a third of each side is address. Or a third, if you look on the other side, two thirds. Yeah, I know. Two thirds of that is address. I don't want any of this. This is so nice to have it all on one side because they but see the whole still, thing. It still continues over to the other side. There's more. Not the uh, questions. There, there's no questions. No, it's just explanations. Fine. Yeah, then but that's all right. No, I don't care. I think they're the same size and hold it in bores. Yep. Yeah. So these folks probably upgraded the septic system this year because they were trying to sell a house. Yes. I can assume I don't you oh you look at walkers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They yes. Put, they put a new septic system in this year. Yeah. And because because it was it, required. It, yeah. It yeah. it failed for a <laughs> Garden shed rickety. <laughs> <laughs> so honest. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Love it. This initial island too. We have seen it. Oh. Okay. See any reasons? So everyone, everyone too. has a copy of that. Oh, everyone you? does. Yeah. Wonderful. Everyone has a copy of that. So this is Tony Borton's property. Yeah. So, Russ, there is a with behind your minutes. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. I probably should have attached that to number one. Although it's not really mail, it's just something we typed up. So you all would. I just downloaded it yeah, from MAO or yeah, local services. <laughs> okay new sale recent sales new listing looks like there are no new sales and no new listing we have a new listing this afternoon malcolm's house ah yep yep uh housing and urban development now own it and they put it on the market today uh for i think 475 we have it. About 375. Let's see how it goes. And what's more important than what they put it on the market for is what it sells for all the Yes. Right. Why does HUD own it? Uh, because they had a reverse mortgage. mortgage. And so. Directly with HUD? Well. Or is it through, it, through no, some bank on a HUD no, program? It's, yes, exactly that. Exactly that. And so they're the ultimate owner right now. Yep. So they put it, did they put it through the order? Then? Yes. Um, local. Yes. Sometimes they don't use the local. That's right. No, she is. Yeah. 
Okay, we have nine building permits here of different types. Okay. Assuming the new detached garage has already shown up as a permit somewhere. Yes. Yeah. I get up there in the fall and have a look at it. Window The one we were going to go look at that they haven't started yet, right? Yes. Start farm one. Yes. That is quite the building. It is. It appears to be where it's going to be across the road where the greenhouses are, but I don't know exactly where on that site. It'll be built into the bank by the low. Mm. Bigger than my house. That's for there. Yeah. That would make it just below the existing shed there. Yeah, it would look like it. Well, that's good to have the plans, thank you. Yeah, because he's actually a woodworker and restores a store, you know, antique furniture and so forth, as well as building. Well, is that? Yep. Yeah. Seth Capista, he married Anna Meyer. Capista. Yeah. Anna Meyer's husband. Yes. Not from around here, but I had a good talk about it one day. So well, maybe this is for his business, or he'll be developing a business. Well, that would be considered a farm building or a... Depends on how they use it. If the permit has it, it's office slash... Some job. Job, yes. Yeah. Yes, then that would be a commercial. Right. You need a building permit for a dishwasher replacement? Well, you can get one. I think it's because it needed... Um, it's a gas... Oh, yeah. converted to yeah. I, I believe that's a gas permit. Hmm. Um, hot water. That's for the dishwasher. Plumbing. Supplies. Maybe it's not. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, they tell you that anything you do with your water lines requires yeah. a permit. Because they want a licensed plumber doing it, not a right enthusiastic amateur. Right. I mean, technically, if you're replacing your faucets, you should have to have it. Applicant's name, Kenny Lament, gas pipe. It used to be, and I think it still is, that if you, as the homeowner, apply for the permit, you are then responsible for anything wrong with the work. If your contractor applies for the permit, they are then responsible for it. Explains why a lot of contractors have the homeowner go do it. Well, yes, a lot of homeowners say I'm going to be my own general contractor, so I'll do all the permitting. And I don't yeah. want who wants, I don't want father. Mm. Oh, uh, is there? Yeah, good question. There is, is there a value on that? Well, there's an amount to build it. Yes, and I believe it was like one hundred and ten thousand. Okay. Estimated cost one hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Elaborate building. For workshop, but I presume 
He really was going to work in there to be insulated and yes, you know, that kind of stuff, and wired else. and so forth. And it was bathroom. Well, it's I said it's workshop slash office. Yes. So that's a fast. And it's the do well to get that for a hundred thousand. And it's about eighteen hundred square feet. So I don't think that will happen. Fifty thousand dollars just to keep them insulating an air seal. Yeah. yeah. 49 years ago, when you were our contractor and did our septic system, you did a darn good job. We pumped it for the first time this week. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. And all the pipes are still in good condition. Everything's great. Yeah, <laughs> mm. yeah the every three to five years is right out the window with her, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Nobody told me every three to five years. All right. Motor vehicle, excise, and abatement. And a warrant. And a warrant. Yeah, I'll do it. Read them off, or you just. Yeah. But however you like. Adam Fuller, Matthew McKay, Toyota Lease Trust, and Gregory Walls. Mm -hmm. And all of them were either sold or traded. The warrant is the yeah we have to sign the top there. one. That's the next round of collections for Jan. Okay. Do I have a motion to accept the uh, just printed? Um, so moved. Yep, and to sign the warrant. And to sign the warrant. Yep. I guess I'll Can we do that. those individually? The motion yeah, we saying will. They're two That's different. true. Yes. So we'll okay, say motion to sign the warrant. Let's do that one first. Okay, so you'll second that? Yes. Okay. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. I got to put my name on the top of the list. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying how trusting he is. He's not even looking at my work. And <laughs> Dan will tell me if it's wrong. So come back and say. <laughs> so this is the list of all the excise taxes that we do want to collect. Uh, this is the new list. These are things that uh, yeah, probably that's... transpired in June. People's traded in May and June. May and right. June. Sure. Yep. Bill and Obi got a new new car. Mm -hmm. That's what that reflects. Yeah, that's round four. four so this year. Actually, it's mm -hmm. five. It's actually five. That's five. Five. Well, because they had one, <laughs> two, three, three point one, and yes. So what I'm seeing here is the excise tax for my new car. Mm -hmm. yes. I haven't bothered to ask for an abatement on the old ones. Right, you know? right, sure. You're going to have a year back. I know, it's just so much, I have so many other things to do. Okay. You have three years. Yeah, to yeah do you have three it. years in which to do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll see. I'm still trying to learn how to weed my gardens. Ah, yes. How many households did you say they were in town? Someone told me that one time. About 850. 850, yeah. yeah. We have just about 600 single family homes, but we have a lot of two or threes or two houses on the same property. Um, how does that work? Well, they get. Single families are listed as 101s on the sheet, so like it's 600 of them, or 597 or whatever. And then the 104s are the house with an apartment. So, so there are probably two dwellings, but within building. one building. Right, the 109s are two buildings on two houses on the same property. How does that happen? Uh, it's not, I think well, it's, it's not allowed in the zoning as far as I know. It, it's These are all grandfathered in pretty much. Um, for example, the one there at the corner, just past the cemetery, uh, past Howland, you're going down, you go past the bridge, mm -hmm. and Wendy's next door, then the next house has two houses on the same property. Mm -hmm. 
But those are more or less grandfathered in? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because you could do that today. You couldn't have a single mm -hmm. lot with two Right. They would they buildings. would have to be attached. Connected in some way, but it could be with just a breezeway. Yeah. Yeah. But they do have to be physically so connected. Yeah. So you can have just a so covered walkway. The same dwelling dwelling in that case. Yes. Yeah. It is um, an accessory apartment in the same dwelling. Right. It's just allowed by right. Yes. Or with a special permit, one or the other. Could kind of be considered a two-family house if it just had a covered walkway attaching them. Right. Okay. So yeah. six hundred single detached families. single families. Yes. But about eight hundred and something. Eight fifty, eight twenty-five altogether. Okay. Residents, residential units. Is that that includes commercial school? Yes. I mean, yes. Any, any building. Yes, so. the apartments at the old country store at the old village shops. Yeah, there are three there. So, all right. So we have four motor vehicle abatements. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lord, I know. So we, sure. All right. Well, um, you make the motions. Oh, what am I moving? Uh, to approve the four, four motor vehicle, vehicle abatements. So the abatements. Okay. Um, I'll move that we approve these four abatements in a condition on my scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will when you sign Very it. good. Hmm? You will when you sign it first. Just... In many, many places. All right. You got a second? I second. All in favor. All right. All right. I didn't look them over before the meeting. Is that show have done that? You usually don't. Not anymore. You haven't. I glanced through them. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. No, I rely on you. But good it's results. It's not exactly a difficult thing to figure out. No, it isn't. Relying on you is that excellent results. Well, thank you. So that's the cover sheet is essentially, and these are the individual. Right. Well, the and these are the applications. That, yeah. yeah, these are the applications. Those are the certificates that go to the owners and a copy of them to the. Yeah. And then there's, uh, and there's, there's, and then yeah. there's actually the summary too. So yeah. there's three places for each one to sign. <laughs> you get, did you sign all three of those? Nope. 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 There's more here to do it. Those are void. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The other two. two on the other, this, I'm this sorry. Page. There's three. Yeah, but I'm just. Yeah, three three they're void because there was only four, and it prints out in groups. So yeah. Okay. Multiples of three. I have to do that so somebody doesn't come across a blank certificate and say yes. Mm -hmm. So this is this is one long list. Is that what this is? I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Need to the application. You'd be welcome to print on the Thursday. I've been, you know, like four or something. Like Wanted to look these things over okay. before the meeting. Yes. Yeah. Where are you going with it? <laughs> so again, these are the original applications. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of them are for traded or sold. Agent will get one as gifted to someone mm -hmm. or junk. Yeah. Or a day. Yeah, I'll add it on. And uh our car has been totaled or yeah. It's stolen. Ninety nine point yeah. eight percent, I would Probably say, is. are traded or sold. Yes. Except at the very beginning of the year, when you get the um, disabled veterans that, right. that qualify for, mm -hmm. and the um, all the farm vehicles. Yep.
All right. Next on the agenda is chapter applications. Yes, trade. We're all mailed. Uh, yes. About uh, two weeks ago. We, yeah. Yeah. I have um, a good stack that have already gotten back to me, which is a nice head start to the usual. Yes. I will start putting them in with the meetings to start reviewing and signing off on them at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. That way you guys aren't signing 50 at a time. Mm -hmm. I presume a lot of these same people year after year for recreation. And yes, yes, they have to re reapply every year. And every year we get a few new applicants. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what these are. Yes, but some of the stuff behind it, that is Tom Lewis's land that's left up on Cricket this, Hill. This is. Yes, yeah. it's, it's in a trust for his children. And it's um, the two vacant pieces opposite to rest. All the rest of it behind it is Lee's research because I questioned the last minute application. Right. You know, the, the last minute approval of an application on what shouldn't normally, which wouldn't normally be a rebound year. Right. But I did contact Lauren, our local yeah. advisor, mm -hmm. and she wrote back and said, yes, enough changes are happening every year now that every year is essentially a revaluation year, and you can accept an application and apply it to this fall's bills. Normally, an application accepted now would not go into effect until a year from now. But I've been fresh lately. Total 40.7 acres. In, yes. In two pieces. Yep. Motion. So, I move to accept the Lewis application for enrollment in Chapter 61B. 61B is agriculture and horticulture. Uh, no, it's recreation and open, open space. space. B? B. Oh, right. It's A yeah. and B. Gotcha. Yeah. I'll second that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Sign the back. Plain old vanilla 61 is its forestry. Yes. I think that was the first one to come out. Apparently. And then it, then they did agriculture pretty close afterward. And then 61B only came into the, the into play about 10, 12 years ago. Okay. Well, what's it even that long ago? I know. I'm thinking 10 is probably closer to it. Worship makers. We have to read this and I saved this. Skimmed it. But when they got into the weeds of appealing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. No, it's, it's. So I've got all this in my, on my computer. Yes. I keep sending you these things. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And, you know, education bits and pieces as opposed to trying to fire well, those methods. Should, I know. Should we ask Lauren about the other one that I brought up? The two yes. parcels, one owned by just wife, one owned by husband and wife, both under five acres. Yes. Combined equal like, yeah. more, but. Because it, they're not deeded the same. Yes. It just well, leaves no, it open to question. I thought the five acres were lower this year. No, it's still five acre minimum. You mm -hmm. sure? I hadn't heard anything differently. I read something. Well, let's look at that stuff because that's recent. That's the, the, the latest. I just read talk about five acres. Forestry right. is 10. And, uh, yeah, agriculture is 10. And forestry is 10. Yeah, that's right. Uh, agriculture is five. Yeah, right. six times. Maybe there's it. something in the works to lower it. I thought I saw something, and maybe it was in one of my ag newsletters yeah. that I get that they were going to lower it to two acres. Oh, that's silly. Wow. Because once you take out your house, that's like. Yeah, you have maybe three, one and a half acres to. Yeah. Or a two acre requirement. Two acre requirement. Yeah, okay. I had, that's interesting. interesting. I had what I had questioned, so you know, is, is that we've got a long term person. This isn't a new yep. person. And 
there's two parcels. One of them is like one, about two abutting parcels. One is like three and a half acres, the other is four acres. So neither on its own qualifies, they qualify together. Yep. And if it was just the one, you know, if they were deeded the same, I wouldn't have thought anything, but one is deeded to her, one is deeded to her and her husband. Mm -hmm. So they're not deeded to, so I'm just questioning whether or not it actually qualifies because they're not. Uh, what I just read in those mm, in it would last questions said no, the, the, the title has to be identical. Yes. And, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, this is an ongoing one. She's not new, but right. because she insists that we fill out her paperwork for her, as I was filling it out, it I, was going, <laughs> I was like, uh, this doesn't seem right. You know? have, yep. we, have we received that notification yet? Which one? The one you're talking about. There's, well, we have the applications. I yeah, do have yeah, them. They're, they're Already. No, no, yeah. Renewals, yeah. Yes. I do have them back. Well, should we contact them? Is there any discussion about this? Should we? Well, if I read the, the literature from yeah. PLS correctly, should the we titles have to be, the ownership has to be identical, the phrase identical is used. And it sounds like they aren't identical. Oh, they are not. They are not identical. No. So it's and they like, never will be. Although this might push her to do it. Right. To either take him off of one or to <laughs> Don't want to be around their dinner table. I'll tell you. That. <laughs> well, it's not like they live there. It's, it's, no, I know. It's, it's, not. No, it's, a, it's an old. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Essentially, a vacant property. There's a little old stamp on it. <laughs> well, should we? Mm, I just need to our our try and sit down and recently that this is not. I'm sorry. I, I I lately feel like I've been really throwing some wrenches in the works. Well, it's not much of a wrench. No, it's, it's discovered something that's improper that needs to be corrected. Right. Yeah. Let me check with yes with Lauren first. See, that's what I would. Yeah. Right. Yep. Let's see if I can go back and figure out how when it happened. But yeah, that's all right. Don't be sorry. You're doing your job. <laughs> so that's the end of the discussion. Then you'll look into it and we'll get back to it. Get back. To I will. I will put it on the next agenda. Note for next agenda. Revisit. Site visits. Mm. We well, have, we have uh, don't have any that we did, but those were right. We have calculations. Things that she wanted to discuss with site, and there are a couple of things that have come up that one of them looks familiar. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, you. Oh, me. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> when we sat down I and made changes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which leads, of course, to the discussion of getting around to our own properties. All right. Well, we want to discuss that, or what? What do we need? Do we need to discuss this? Or uh, this that was my this reminder. Is, this is one of our own properties. That's right. So that was my reminder to talk about this. Okay. Ask if we can talk about that. I guess it's open for discussion. Okay. Well, I can't talk about it, right? So you can't talk about that one. But right. Does so either can. one of us? None of us can talk about our own. Um, but we need to discuss how we're going to go about. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Yeah. Forster approached one of the assessors and pointed out some inaccuracies mm -hmm. in his card, and yeah. it's up to you all to yeah. sort it mm -hmm. out. But it's up to the, the team to investigate each other's houses. You guys will invest, you know, will visit mine, mm -hmm. or I'll be there too, probably, and sitting in the car or whatever, or out to ask yeah, questions. But when yeah. it comes time to discuss these things, it's yes. just you two talk about That's this. That's right. 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 I could sit here, but I have to shut up. Well, you could you can give us some information. Yeah, you, can, you can answer questions, questions, ask questions, answer questions. Yep. You just can't vote. Yeah, vote on anything having to do with or the Or participate in the deliberation. Right. You right. can't argue it. You, yeah. Right. Like. Okay. Well. Yeah. So, um, when can the three of us go out and uh, maybe start site visits with our three? Well, are is your house you're good for it? Yeah, good for I mean, nice looking house. I got it. Is, is, can I is go just so I agreement. get to see the inside? Is the family sure. in agreement? <laughs> do we do our homes every year? We haven't. 
uh, because they've been pretty stable. Mm -hmm. But if there were changes, yes, it would be the better. One. Yes, we have done you, that. We do yours every year. Permit, then probably. Yeah, we're, we were looking at yours every year while it was mm -hmm. under construction and all. Okay. Well, with respect to mine, just by the way, um, Monday or sometime next week, presumably, a roofing crew is going to come in and, yeah. and uh, replace some roof. So oh, I presume nice. they're going to pull a building permit and probably, yeah. Uh, so I just so mentioned, quick, in case you want to wait until after do that. Your visit, do your visit for the roof. Quick, quick. <laughs> That's maintenance. <laughs> yep. Um, Same type of roofing. Yeah. So, you know, cedar shingles on the parts that you see. Um, and something less wonderful on parts <laughs> that you don't see. That's all. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do we do with this one? Uh, well, let's see. Do we want to think about a time when we could go out, or can we table that for the moment? Uh, I'm really up to my eyeballs right now with trying to get values ready uh, for the middle of a month. Site visits right now would be a bit of a burden. What uh, about the ones that doing? you just canceled? Well, I said we'd get back to them. Okay. I called them all that day, and I said, we'll be getting back to you, and they said, oh, okay, fine. Yeah. All right. Um, I have a motion to table it. Yeah, till maybe toward the end of the month or something like that. Because Roy's coming on the 15th to go over values with me. So why don't we table it to like the first meeting in September? Yeah. I we will can. not be here the first meeting okay. in September. Okay. Second meeting second in September. So, we'll just, so we're just going to table site it. meetings in general here. Uh, or just specific ones here. For me, in general, definitely the next three weeks, four weeks. Yeah. Because Mike said that the accountant said that he would have his paperwork done by the end of the month. So we have to be ready to submit everything at the end of the month so that we can get it approved. Maybe that first week in September, the value is approved. Mm -hmm. And then do a classification hearing the second week and get it back in. And with any luck, final approval on or around the 15th. That gives Jan two full weeks to get them ready to mail or to mail them. She loves it if they can go out early. There we go. <laughs> yep. So it's pretty. What was the motion? Right, so I got, I got a motion. A motion to table site visit site discussions. Visits general. I have so site visit discussions and scheduling. Yes. Until mid September meeting. Sounds good. Or to later. Me. I guess my question is procedurally because. My house is part of this yep. collection of site visits, I guess. Mm -hmm. Can I vote on that motion? Mm -hmm. or do I have to we can because it has nothing to do with value. Right. Right. And you're talking about group, just the, the motion fundamentally is this put we're off. We're talking about, about all site, site visits, visits too. So all site right? visits, discussions, and scheduling. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that covers it. In so, which case, I would second that motion. Did you make the motion? I made a, I made a motion. So, she made a motion phone. to table site visit discussions and scheduling until mid September meeting or later. I said that. You did in so many words. Yeah. Yes. And I'm seconding it. Seconding. <laughs> you made okay. it very clear. Thank you. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Now, do we want to look at well, we evaluations, evaluations on the. Of the detached structures yeah what are we but we also could look at the valuations that have come up on the structures we did see like the rogers and rice house and the recito and we could look at the calculations there all right i think they fall under the category of site visits because they were site visits yes they would fall under the category of site visits absolutely yay okay that is part of that category is discussing yep. the ones you've already done good 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 um Okay, this is Rogers and Rice, and we had our complete inspection there. I've done it up with the details that we had, and we need to agree on the. All right, let's go to the one here. Microcito, the workshop that's becoming a house. Uh, and we went. I looked at the, our little chart and he was comes out about 46.8% complete. Now with our July visit, he comes out at 84.5 and there is a more than 50% increase in value 
So we'd yeah. like to value him at the higher recent value. Which was what, 83.5? Is that what you said? 84.5. Yeah, uh, completed. So this was his card as of January 1, 2022. And this is the proposed um, values based on these changes. Um, also, I have a question about effective year built on that. The structure was started in 2012 and he purchased it in 2022? Yes, June of 2022. So it's only been a year. Uh, but this is the period in which all the interior work has been done, the deck, the lean to out the back. So what should our effective year build be? <laughs> Back to making changes on the effective year, then. Certainly considering it. Don't we have a table? Or what would be, well, yes, but the table was on a commercial building. Right. It seems like it, it, it's effectively a residence like now, now last yes. year, right? Or, well, we, like, have, we have a table we were looking at when we were discussing Carlos. Well, that was for residences. Yeah, this was this is a started out as a commercial, commercial but building. Now it's a residential building. Now it's yeah. residential. But the normal thing the year built would mean that it was built as a house in 2012. And it wasn't. So that's where we get into a a consideration. Um I put in 2020 to have a figure there. Um, figuring that the structure itself is 11 years old now, but all of the newer work would, would uh, color that a bit. But what, what did the figures come out to? The figure came out to, um, where is it? Okay, 173.8. At 84.5% completed. And basically, it's two rooms with one bathroom, one and a half bathrooms, one bedroom upstairs, and a, a living area downstairs. Um, it's grade B, which I think was average. It, we have it in good condition. That's what I put in as a, to fill, as a filler until we had a chance to talk it over. So what's the question you're asking? It's the question you're asking, what should the effective date be? Yeah. And intuitively, not necessarily that I know much about assessing properties, but it seems intuitively if I took a workshop, turned it into a home, and I finished, let's say, in 2024. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to friends about it. And they said, so how old is your house? I'd probably say I finished it in 2024. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that translates into effective dates in terms of the yeah. law here. But and I would he, be saying, you know, I might explain why well, it started out in 2010 as a, as a barn. But mm -hmm. the house yeah. you know, only dates back. It's like right. It's brand new. He, brand only, new he, he started doing things residential type things in uh, yeah. last fall. Yeah. yeah. That that was that would be where as a non-assessor I would be leaning. 2022. Mm -hmm. As an yeah, as an untrained mm -hmm. non-assessor. Yeah. Well we you know we appreciate your thoughts. Yeah. I can serve. Yes. <laughs> What's your feeling on this? Well I mean that there's there was a building there yes. starting in 2010. So yeah. you can't Oh, I don't yeah. think you can totally disregard the fact that the exterior the structure that, has the fact that there was a structure there, whether it was a house or has a lean or on commercial it. or whatever, there was a structure there. Isn't your foundation is still the foundation that was there? Yeah, I mean, your there, framing there's no is still changes, the so, framing. I mean, I guess I would. Well, how are affected they typically derived? My house, for example, is built, let's say, in 1790 or right. 18. Right. Um, and and things have been done to it over the years. Mm -hmm. 
um, and I think on my card it says something like 1985 or something mm -hmm. of that sort. How is that derived? It's, it's just a, a it's a no. It's we a have formula a formula that for an average house, you know, one that's been a house all its life. We do have a formula, a chart based on a, on formulas, all right. and that chart takes the physical age and then the determined condition. And comes up with 1985. But in, but in this case, this the nature of this project doesn't lend itself to those formulas. Right. Not completely, no. Okay. The better you take care of your house. Oh, yes. The older the, I mean, the I, newer I, the I, of age. I think I would lean like 18 or 20 somewhere. Okay. 2018. Eight, 20, 2018 to 2020. 20, somewhere in, in that range. I don't know. Because you're basically splitting the difference between yeah. when the residential part was finished and when the exterior essentially was finished. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't disagree with that or argue. I'm just trying yeah. to wrap my head around uh, the concept. Oh, it is. Yeah, uh, I agree. I agree. I'm just trying to figure out it. I put in 2020, uh, I can do 2019, I can put in anything. I'm open to. I'll split the difference. Okay, 2019. 2019. Okay. So moved that we give 670 Shelburne Falls Road effective age, effective year built 2019. I'll move. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Man, if I could ask another question. How does that number impact ultimately, or does it impact the evaluation? It will it will reduce the valuation very slightly because it's one more year it's to it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we still are. I mean, it, the value so almost doubles so over. Still, we still have our fifty percent. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And I changed the heat from space heater uh, to gas hot water because of the, there were a couple of baseboards around. And I updated that to what we had seen when we were there. What yep. You, what did you put for flooring? <laughs> I have a question. Elasticized concrete, concrete skin coat, right? I know. I know. That's good stuff. They, it was amazing. It's, it's so that, pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's done right. It's very pretty. It's it's very pretty. It's the black it was on white. And so you have these interesting shades of the gray in it too. Uh, I think I put it, I checked off resilient. Resilient, that's a category? Yes, which does not answer that one particularly, but there is no category for that either. Mm. What is resilient normally used for? And that's normally uh, linoleum, rolled linoleum. Roll linoleum. I, that's close, because frankly, when I first saw it, I thought, this is some kind of linoleum? That, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not too far so off. So old that's school. Good. When they, yeah, it is. Why people used to something with a roll in school? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep, okay. So I will come up with a value on that for next time. Uh, but we're good with the supplemental. And... I'll move ahead with that one. Is it a piece of that paperwork? Yes, it is. Yes, if you'd initial this. So basically, you've changed the effect of your bill, you've updated the rooms, the floor plans, the heating system. Yes, I've up updated the, um, the um, house's details based on what's there now. Classification, because it's been changed now from commercial to residential. Oh, that happened last year. Yeah, so we're good there. Um, of course, this house went on the market today, as I said. And in looking over the photos and all, I found a couple of differences. Um, one was that it has more masonry trim on it than we had. Uh, it has one extra fixture and one extra fireplace in the basement. And the finished basement area we had was too small. It's, it's, I put it in as rec room because it has no ceiling. The joists are open, and the, but it is heated. It has pine paneling on the walls. So I put it in as rec room as a finished basement. 
Yeah, like this, some, some right, sense. right, which is to the quality. And, and of you're deriving that information from the real the photos. Things. Yeah, the photos. Thing, and, right, okay. right, and that looking through them constitutes a a, a full exterior interior visit. Okay. Yeah. So I did that today, and it changed the value from of the house and garage from two forty eight seven. To 261.9. So our total value on it is 345 now. And they're asking for 75. So um, and I'd like to ask you to approve those changes and the resulting change in value. Do we have a motion to I mean, change the value? I'm moving to ask you to approve. Or... Yeah. Based on. Corrections to the masonry trim, finished basement, number of fireplaces, and extra fixtures. Good thing I can go back and listen to this one. I do the minutes. Okay. Good thing I can go back and listen to this when I do the minutes because <laughs> I can't write that fast. I have no, I've already don't know what she said. Fast masonry <laughs> surround yourself. Well, George just made the motion. I'm going to second it. All in favor. Bye. Bye. Okay. How much of a difference is it? 26. Well, it, it, from 375 to 475 is a 26 percent increase yeah but in the the actual increase here was only uh thirteen thousand dollars which is tiny. supposed to be within 10 percent yeah yeah we're supposed to be within 10 percent of what that sells for who knows well, so we'll okay. see what it sells for All right okay if you'd initial that Worms is we don't get a supplemental, but we will get whatever increase we have by December 31st. Okay, no, I don't need to do anything with that one. What did I just miss? Oh, that's, Sorry, that's receipt over here. Uh, Owen Wormsers did not increase enough to go have a supplemental tax, so no changes, right? No change. Right, okay, and that's going to go over there for now, too. Uh, and Owen's going to go over there for a moment. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then I'll get him back. That's Lori's pile. She doesn't want them, she'll give them to me. Yeah, exactly. Put everything yes. in my pile. This is drinkers. And we don't have a supplemental there either. So we'll wait till the end of the year and go and get whatever they did in the entire year. Thing. You get the rushes and race one bridge down. So drinkers, the same thing. No, yes. no substantial changes to value. Not, not sufficient to allow a supplemental billing, a supplemental value. Then. Oh. Can we just say change in value? Oh. <laughs> so people understand what it is. Well, a supplemental billing is a special thing. Assessment. Well, it's not, they're not getting an, in, a, a, no. an additional bill. You're no, changing the means that we can value them at, at, as at what was their July 1st rather than having to right. accept the January one. Right. Yeah. But I mean, we're not. So I would say no. So it doesn't matter. So the values that we are carrying to some extent are generated by the software based on all the data points that we feed in. So if they're below market, assuming we haven't missed lots of stuff. Um, and given that the, the software formulas are working properly, the disparities between what they're selling for and what they're valued at is the marketplace hard at work. That's, that's right. It is. And that's why we had just across the board 8% increase. 
That's from here and here. All the sales work. Yeah. Yep. And that's way on half of the end. And there's another one. It's still going on. People all want to move to the wettest town in the country. <laughs> that's so nice. Oh my god. Where do you god. want to move? I want to move to that town where it rains all the time. Yeah. Or maybe that'll put a damper on things, so to speak. Yeah, come to 2024. Because we haven't rolled over into 2024 yet. Right, but I have to put all the new information in 2024. So I did. But, right, but you won't get a card because. Yeah. So at that house up in Sherman. Which, considering we're billing 2024, we sure the heck should be able to. Not until after it's gone out. Uh, all right. Two story frame, temporary design, built and effective year both 2023. Heat pump, heating system by oil through a warm air duct system. Heating heat pump and AC. Um, five rooms, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two additional fixtures. Um, excellent condition. Modern kitchen and bath, uh, gable roof style. I hope it's modern, it's brand new. Oh yeah, but it's not <laughs> luxury. Uh, asphalt shingles on the roof, um, concrete foundation uh, with good grade, basement finish only fair. Uh, let's see, one fireplace. And down in the assumptions, I put in before we, you know, until we decide that the quality is good to very good. That was what we had talked about in the car, too. Mm -hmm. And that the condition is excellent. And that gives us a value for the house of 477.7. Combine that with the land, uh, the garage comes in at. 19,600. Well, it's not very big. It's 21 by 24. It's a large single. And I put it as good grade. You can't build much of a garage for that. I know. I put it as good That's... grade and in very good condition. Um, I didn't see that it was any more than good grade. No, I don't think so. Yep, and then the value adding in the land comes to a total of five ninety one hundred. What was their building permit? Oh four. We end up doing a motion to accept changes and five twenty. Five twenty. Then that's the without the land. land. That's without the land. Right? Yes. Except changes. Yeah, theoretically, is the house and garage. Yes. And uh, yeah. so and we have at four ninety seven. So that's pretty close. We're in good shape there. Yeah. I'm going to just take a screenshot of this. And I'm going to write down that eventually someone's going to make a motion to accept the changes and the value of the property. Yeah, that's what I hope. Yeah, someone will make that motion. <laughs> Sorry, can't do it. <laughs> the the number on the building permit is basically someone's estimate of what it will cost. The it's the contractor's estimate. It's the contractor's estimate. Yeah. Stop that. That's the final bill. It's the, no, because yeah. whatever changes they make to the plans, uh, you know, could be yeah, could be anywhere. But it is something to go on. Mm -hmm. And it costs less to build a house, and that would sell for. They could finish this at five fifty, and then turn around and probably sell it for seven fifty as a quick sale. On, well, or in another time and place, it could be the other way around too. Spend a bunch of money in a house and turn out the market's terrible and you can't get your money back. Right now, it sounds it's like things are pretty hot. I've been for a while, though. By the way, I had the motion to 
accept the changes. Mm -hmm. Well, to, is there an evaluation. Rogers and Rice. Okay. Yeah, I move that we accept the evaluation of Rogers and Rice new house and garage at 497.3. And a second. Yes, it's all second at 497.3. Yep. 497.3. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. 497.3? Yes. For the house and garage. And the land? The land is an additional 92.8. That's a separate. Yeah, that's, that's a number. separate valuation. Yeah. Okay. Anytime I do these, George, I put in what I think are probably close assumptions, and all of them are subject to change and must be changed if when we're discussing them here as a group, then the changes, yes. Yes. Yep. Put those in together. Okay, so is that the end of the site visits? I think so. All right, we'll get evaluation of I wasn't Adam, so I have I know, no idea. Yeah. Evaluation of detached structures. I don't know. Yeah. If you wanted to. That's that's mine. Um oh one other quick quick thing that you had said made a good suggestion. And I made up that little checklist of amounts completed. Mm -hmm. And we can just take this when we go, do it right on site. And write in all our notes on that paper with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and so I did get that done. Well, before we do that, I have one thing that, yeah. that George brought up all of all of rainwater. Is, is this, I'm thinking in particular of Taylor's place that they still can't get, is this somehow going to make a difference somewhere in the way we look at something? For the whole year, or I'm just, You're not sure I understand the question. Well, yeah, Taylor, Taylor's I, and I on Adams Road. On Adams Road, the road is completely gone, and they can't get to the house. It's second homes, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Right. And you wonder if that lack of access for some period of time would affect the value of the house. Right. I mean, this is the town's responsibility. Is it to, it's a private road? It's not a private not a road. Private it's, road. A private, okay. it's a town road. All the way out to where it used to turn. Has anyone ever asked for an abatement or, or or lowering of their valuation because for a period of time there was lack of access? I don't think the issues come up before, but I could see it coming up this year. Um, especially because I mean, it happens when there's a fire. I mean, yes. Even if they rebuild it, they can they can ask for. Yeah, you know, we immediately reduce the value of the structure for the mm -hmm. remainder of the year. Mm -hmm. or um, until it's rebuilt. Yeah, right. Until it's rebuilt. Yeah. Year, but yeah. They do get a break for a certain amount of time. So, I mean, it's just something I happen to think of. Um, if people can, our highway department is working so very very hard. Uh, that there are places that needed that were people's homes. Well, there are other homes on Fields Hill that the, you still yes, can't get to. That's right, and they're they're their first homes, their residences. Right, and the, so very, that's a more very, important. The very place last for one our, is the one I'm thinking of specifically. Yes, but is there any precedent for that kind of situation that you guys are aware of? No, with respect to road no. washouts. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It I can ask Warren. It was just a yeah, you know, it's probably the way a, to go. Yeah. See if it's statewide there's been any precedent for that sort of consideration. Yeah. Because because you have to quantify it somehow, like how many days and yes. And, and what's the what's the trigger? You know, one day is not enough. Was a hundred days? It's, well, what would be a reasonable time in which you could expect it to be repaired? And we're because well, our it will be repaired before they even need the house. But our highway department is I didn't get that. Oh, doing the farthest mean. and the best they can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I guess I in response to your query, 
if, if we needed a motion, it would be that maybe you check with the state to see if they get any experience with this. Yes. That'd be a place to start. All right. I mean, I don't know whether we need to make it as a motion or just check. I'm just going to go ahead and check with her and then we'll get the information back and bring it up as needed. Okay. But I think you're right. That's a, uh, we had an inquiry today about a property here in the village that had some damage to its frontage and they, they can't park there right now. And she wondered about that, how long it would be before the town department got to it. And uh, we weren't too encouraging about that. To get back to this checklist. Yeah. These uh, categories of information are things that are part of the card, the tax card. Is that what this? They're part of the system behind our valuation. They're okay. part of the Marshall and Swift system. So, so this is all sort of relevant data points. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you say percentage of total, meaning right. In other words, total. total they add up to right. One hundred percent. But each category has its own weight. Okay. So for our framing is 21% of yes. the value of the house, mm -hmm. is that the idea? Yeah. So presumably, you, if you use this as a checklist, you're providing a little more scrutiny for the for the yes. one that's 21% of right. the house as opposed to and the one that's 1%. If it's only half framed, we can say, okay, 10%. Mm -hmm. You know, or something is only partly completed. Okay. We can um, adjust those numbers accordingly for our, that's just extra copies for me to throw on the um, clipboard. Take one if you'd like. I will. I just was developing something of my own for my own purposes. Oh. I was trying to see how close I can. Um, yeah, I'm gonna steal one. Ah. Because I was, I was including. They're probably within these categories because I was doing things like um, just based on I think the, the cards. Yes. There are heating and cooling, mm -hmm. room detail, bedrooms, total rooms, custom features, full mm -hmm. baths, half baths. This is all just that I pulled off the Great. the tax cards. Basement dwelling information. So I'm assuming it's the same information, just organized differently. It is, yes, and summarized in some cases. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it'd be helpful. You guys have been doing this so long. I'm sure it's just well in your heads. I think it's a good idea. So provide right, a little, a, a little consistency yeah. from place to place. All right. All right. All right. So we're back to the oh uh, detached structures. Detached stuff. Yeah. I got into it because I was looking at the values of generators, pergolas, gazebos, little camps, outdoor furnaces, hot tubs we still list, but we agreed a couple of years ago not to value them. <clears throat> and they were being put in under the same depreciation schedule, a 70 year schedule as the houses. And that's wrong. No generator is going to last 70 years. They're warranted for 25. A gazebo is not going to last 70 years. No, some are curious. All right. A, a little old camp in the woods that has nothing but a couple of shelves in it and used by hunters, that's not going to last 70 years. So my thinking was that they ought to be, um, they're valued as detached structures already, but they ought to have their own depreciation schedules based on their actual useful lives. And so I investigated a bit and with generators, I found almost all of them had a 25 year warranty. So that would indicate that they last 25, maybe 30 years, but um, pergolas and gazebos, I kind of guessed at 20, uh, little old camps, some of them are probably 40, but. Is, is our system going to be able to do this? Yes. Yes, we simply tell it to look at a different depreciation schedule. Okay, all right. Yeah. And the, and the other systems that we're looking at? They would allow it to. Okay. Yeah. Um, I also talked with, uh, about, with several brokers and one appraiser, no one's out of town, it is summertime, about the extra value that a hardwired whole house generator adds mm -hmm. in a sale. Now they'll cost, say 5,000 to put in, anywhere from three to 10, depending on the size. 
or 15. And they certainly don't bring that value to the sale. No. Um, one appraiser said between 2,500 and 5,000. Others said more like 1,000, 1,500 are the value they add to a property. Yeah. Or that, I think it depends that on buyers what don't care. Is. I think uh, it it's nice, but they're, they're not going to. The yeah, well, that's true that too. Depends on where but it here, is. Are, in are our we market. talking about a house in the city that has one, or are we talking right. about a house out in the hills that loses power all the time? Right. The question right. is, which the realtors you talk to or the people you talk to, where do they work? They're local. They're local. I talked to Joni Schwartz. I talked to Phil Pless. I talked to Jeannie Munson. She talked to her brother, David Murphy. Okay. So yeah. So these the are valley. all local. They know the local market very well, and they've been in business for many years. Yeah, that's why I thought they and were they're good. saying everything from I couldn't care less to yeah three to five thousand. It, yeah, it goes back to it was interesting because a few years ago we were wondering what the discount was on a house that didn't have cable, mm -hmm. and there was a discount. People who wanted it wouldn't even look right. at a house that didn't have it. So a number of houses became unsaleable, unsellable, even though they were perfectly fine in every other regard. But uh, it's kind of a reverse flip situation in the thinking. So for generators, I would be looking at a depreciation schedule that brings the values down to what the professionals are suggesting. In other words, in the first year, does a generator lose 50 or 75% of its cost? I wouldn't think so. I mean, it's Sound like a car where you're going to resell it. That's right. You, but is you if, if you get a whole house generator this year and sell the house next year, say you've put eight thousand dollars into doing it this year, mm -hmm. and it only adds three thousand dollars to your value. Yeah, when you go to sell it so next you just year, just lost five thousand dollars. That's more than fifty percent of the. Mm. So I'd like to ask you to think about these. Not make any decisions tonight, certainly. Um, I've I mean, developed... When they put a generator in, there is there isn't a dollar amount on the building. Right? No, there isn't. But we can look if they give the size of the generator. I can find out the value because I did a lot of. Uh, it's listed here in our evaluation. Uh, let's see. This is the one for um, the system. There's the one for gazebos. It's in the system. Um, they have recommended, oh, here's security alarm systems. Didn't mention that earlier. Uh, sound systems, intercoms. Yeah, you know, this was a response 2,500 to 5K. Um, here's generators. They have a value by wattage. Makes sense. Yep. It uh, this is a cost of a thirty six hundred RPM home generator set includes connections. Uh, the lower end of the range is a rope starter. I don't think anybody would have that. The upper includes battery and automatic starter. Price does not conclude transfer switching. But you know they give us a lead here in the system which we which we use. And here are ads that I printed out for different sizes of generators and uh, there were quite a number of them. Of course, you see Generac is the most popular name. But this Kohler makes them also. So that was where I was getting my cost prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the 70 year one that they use uh, that's been used currently. So you're saying current today, if the I had a whole sales generator, yep. its value would be in part based on a 70 year depreciation. It's schedule. based, yeah, because, well, no, because I have it, yeah, well, yes, yes. Because that's the schedule connected with that structure or, or appointment. Yeah. So today, by default, that's what's that's what's happening. I it think sounds like yeah, it sounds like you're saying yeah, that should be a lot less, something closer to twenty five. Yeah. Yes. 
oh. and showing a quicker depreciation, a heavier, you know, depreciation based on what it draws in the market. I don't know whether I agree with them on that, but uh, how so? Well, I mean, it, I guess people wouldn't have to be without power for a couple of weeks to realize just well, how some folks for that two or three days would. I mean, our well pumps won't work. Well, yeah, I mean, nothing works. Yep. So, you know, I, I can't see that they're going to lower. They, they say it only increases the value of from 1000 to 5000 mm -hmm. I, I guess I have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Just saying you feel that in this town, especially, a whole house generator should bring more value than we're hearing it does that's 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 what i'm saying yes yeah yeah i'm trying to put myself in the, those shoes and ask myself i was buying you know, my house yeah and they said oh and by the way we're about to install a whole house generator or we were going to and we yeah. can uh if you want us to but we're gonna have to ask you for a blank more money mm -hmm. than you're about to give me how much would i be willing to give them extra for that it's kind of like when I bought a place, Margaret had a, a little Kubota. Mm -hmm. And the question was, how much more would but I be tractor, willing to pay right? for the tractor? Right. Which she ended up giving to someone else, but that's that's yeah. okay. Break my heart. <laughs> but I would have been faced with that same kind of question. Huh, how much? Yes. She just threw it in. That'd be great. But if she was saying, I'll let you have it, but you need to pay me right. for it, what would I pay? If you'd been here last winter and been without power for four or five days. Well, and I've been there. And, yeah. And so then I, it's. So how much by, would I be willing to pay for a whole house generator if they were about to do it anyway. Yep. And if I get a house worth half a million dollars or something. Um, I think you'd expect that house to have it. I, I would, but I think in five grand, I mean, at least I'd be probably easy and willing to pay that much more. Yeah. So you're inclined to go with Russ that the figure should be higher. I guess higher than one to three thousand. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I don't one to three thousand below. I mean, round numbers, I'm just thinking, wow, most of our houses, not most, I don't know how many, but yeah. a lot of our houses are in that sort of four to $500,000 yes. range. And someone said, you give me another $5,000, you'll have a whole house generator for those times mm -hmm. when the power will go out. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe because I've been there, right? I, yeah, it's an attractive <laughs> offer, yeah. We have to justify it with sales, or try to. I think that talking to brokers is a also a reasonable way, but... Because well, they I, have sales in their head. I absolutely agree with you there. And that's why I was surprised that these guys seem to feel it didn't make that big a difference. Yeah. Well, I have one other appraiser to contact. It and... may be that they just don't have those discussions if the whole house generator is already there. It's almost like Jim Hardick's house. You know, that maybe there isn't a discussion about how much more are you willing to pay because of the generators. Mm -hmm. Just the generator is there and here's the asking price. Right. Right. It's um, already included. Yeah, now, so. even if, even if, even if it does only add 50% of the value of what you paid for it to the house. I think that, I mean, going back to the original question, I think that it still shouldn't have such a long depreciation schedule. Uh, oh, exactly. I agree with that. that yeah. Yes, I think we're all in agreement on that. Yeah, that's not <clears throat> that 25 years would be probably... I'd love for something to last 70, 70 years. So. Right, right. Even if it did last, that, I, I mean... Even if it was working, it would be this. Oh, no, it'd be completely outdated. It, it, yeah. 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 And you should pump your septic system more than once yes. every 49 years. 42 years. 49. <laughs> yes. So, you got anything more on that? Or we no. We should think about it. That, I'd say let's think on it. What would be a appropriate lifespan for, and, you know, plain little and, camps? And the realtors you talked about, the generators, um, where they were just spitballing too, or did they say, oh, I remember a time when, and there was a very specific anecdote? No, they certainly appeared to be seriously thinking about it. Yeah, but they didn't have anecdotes that's no, the number. They no, I, when I sold this house at that address, uh, it had one, but then I sold a similar house across town that didn't have one. Right. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of those. Unfortunately, yeah. we didn't yeah. get any of those. Okay. So they're, 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 they're in decisions a little more informed than mine, uh, but it's not like real hard anecdotal evidence that not yet yeah. all right you got any other business no that no meeting notice in springfield uh, what's up what's new in municipal law yeah that's a good one yeah that's a very good one we used to go to it every year 
the state folks from the Department of Revenue come out and do the speeches and presentations as classes and um, very worthwhile getting to the town pays for the registration and all. So I'll ask you in another week or two if you'd like to go so I can sign us up. Okay. Okay. Any, anybody on, anybody on the line? Or whoever wanted to go? Yeah. Nobody's online. All right. Next meeting, August 15th. Oh, which one? No, wait, that's, that's the workshop. Yeah. Uh, so for me, August, next August meeting is the 16th. Yeah, the but, August 15th is the um is that one Roger? It's the education yeah. slash work session with Roy Bishop and yes. George was gonna okay. also right. yes, and then the meeting we was on the 16th. We don't need to have another work session, I don't think, because we've gone over almost everything that we have in new growth as of January 1. We valued them out, habitat and all. Uh, I can call you if we do need to have one. Okay. So the next meeting is the 16th. Mm -hmm. That's the 16th. The meeting is September 6th, and I will not yes. be here for that one. Right. Well, that's an, probably that one may end up moving a little bit based on whether or not we have uh, any kind of preliminary approval for our values. You know, sometimes we have to jostle around a bit. Okay. So sometimes we go to the uh, um, select board meeting. Sometimes they come to ours for classification hearing. Mm -hmm. Depends on where how we can do it soonest. I'm just thinking from our point of view at the moment, there's no compelling reason why we want to change the status quo. That's right. Okay. But make anything, one later. Anything else? I don't have anything else. Anybody got a motion? Lee already said one. Motion to adjourn. Oh, I guess I better second that. All in favor? It's six thirty-seven. Hey, <laughs> hi. Yes. Um, so I'll plan to be here on the fifteenth. That would be terrific. Yes. Yeah,